I think my dad liked it because biathlon, its roots are hunting on skis. And so he's like, oh, yeah, that's, you know, that's kind of my thing. You know, he, he's not great on skis, but just hunting was his thing. But he was pretty into it. My mom's like, why would you want to do that? You're, you're good at soccer, you know. I can go watch you and, and then go to the beach as opposed to in biathlon, you know. At, frostbite. I'm going to get frostbite if I go out and watch you, you know. So, um but I mean, they were very supportive. They said, no matter what you do, just don't give up. If you're going to go for it, go for it. Don't just put your toes into it and then, you know, back out. And so um, I think that was what what their motivation was. Is like, if you're going to do it, then go all the way. Who got better faster? It's oh. a thing. Go, I don't, I don't give me, I don't, I don't care. Oh, no, I love you. I love you. I get that. I mean... I get all y'all's defenses. I, I want to I hear that part because that's the trick, okay, right? So, <laughs> yeah, there, there is the drive. In the beginning, Tracy, <laughs> Tracy was a lot better than me. Yeah. Right? Yep. Yeah. You know there is going. Yep. Yeah. In the, in the beginning, she had a lot more success. Yeah. And then um, I got lucky on one race. And then after that, I, I maybe it, had a teeny bit more. <laughs> it's, a, it's a trick, right? There's always, when, when, Mojo would get good at something. I mean, he'd just take off with it. But I would get fascinated at how good he was at it. And then he, it was never a point to where he would talk down to me because I couldn't do it. He wanted me to get good at it so I could compete with him. Yeah. Right? And you kind of feed off each other. Yeah. But then there's always that twin thing because he would learn some cool trick that would that, that would shift like from, from when you're good to you get real good. It's, you know what I'm talking about. There's okay. a, with us, it's one thing. And when everyone's usually explaining their, how they get good at something, they give you the outline. Like, oh, I did this, worked hard. Like, I ate my breakfast, and just like they told you to. Yeah. But then there's that one thing where like, oh, that's all I needed to hear. Yeah. That's all you had to tell me. And, I got, and then it's that body shift. You're like, oh, okay. And usually one picks it up before the other one. And, but it's a pull and, and push deal. We, we're, we're the same way. Yeah, and I think you, you guys probably saw a lot. You have your your biggest competition and your best friend competing with you every day, yeah. pushing you every day. So it, it makes a difference. I, I feel like you can get to a, a higher level doing that than as opposed to someone who you don't have such a close relationship with, you yeah. know, it, it, it's. It, there were days I would call it at the end of the day, I'd call him up just do it. And I mean, beat to death, just the wor worst day ever. Because when they separate us, you know, that's a vulnerability. <laughs> and he would be so fired up about me getting my ass whipped because that's what I went there for. Marcus went to the I went first. Morgan. I had to go through first. And, yeah. and, and I mean, I would tell him everything I would describe to him is what he read in the books and what we saw. And that's what fired us up to do it. Yeah. But when you're going through it, it's different. You know what I mean? Yeah. And he just, he were constantly like, oh, you're good. You're, you're so good. Just keep going. I'll be there beside you. You don't even know it, man. And I, that's what I needed to hear. Just that one, that one it's kind of like your own voice talking to you. Yeah. Our own parents can't yeah. tell us apart over a phone. You know what I mean? That, when you hear that tone come yeah. through, you're just like, oh, that's uh, so all I need to hear. Just tell me, keep going. Just come and keep going, right? Because yeah. it's when you're looking at your mirror, it's like, hey, we're all we got. You know, what else is there? Yeah. Let's just keep going. It's, yeah. it's something. Yeah, a lot of people have that voice inside their head. Well, this this is that voice, <laughs> you know. Right. Yeah. So yeah, cool. I feel like uh, as a twin, sometimes you have your communication skills aren't as good because when you grow up with someone all the time, you don't have to communicate like most normal people do because you already know what I'm thinking, what I want to say, things like that. So I I don't Finish necessarily have sentences exactly. Mm -hmm. So that is so funny. So your first like. When did you find out that you were making it to the Olympics? It was it was kind of a, a really challenging. Th well, all three Olympics making making the Olympic team was was a challenge. Biathlon's just I don't know. It could be just downright miserable. But the first Olympic trials, you made it outright. Like you just she had really good races, and for me, it came down to like just a couple seconds. <laughs> like I barely, I barely squeaked it out. And yeah, the Olympic trials are this process. They start out, you start out kind of the beginning of the year with this larger pool of people. And then it just gets whittled down and whittled down throughout the year. And then usually the last trials 
of the year is usually five people and there's four spots. Oh my <laughs> so, gosh. you know, it's one of those things and it's just this long drawn out exhausting process over the whole year. And so, yeah, so our first Olympics, um, like Lenny said, she barely made the team like, you know, like, what, what does that mean? What does that mean? <laughs> she made it. Well, I know. That's my point. I was like, what are you talking about? Barely made the team. But there's other people that could have taken her spot. I get that part too, yeah. but then you got to get that out of you. I mean, yeah. barely made the team. Well, it's like a girl on there. For us, for us, a lot of times, like the difference between a medal can be, you know, being on the podium is, you know, fraction of a second, fraction of a second, or, you know, the width of a bullet. You know, if you miss a shot. Sure, life and death. I get that yeah, part. I was yeah, just being excited about being on the team. You know, yeah. like, okay. so she made the team. Yeah, yeah, like, <laughs> yeah, Looking look, look, look the whole big picture thing, I was like, He's I was always just trying to remain on the positive end. Oh, sure. This is the Team Never Quit podcast. Oh, yes. So buckle up, Buttercup.